This man is the hey, hey lifesaver right now, bro. We're, we're here with Richard. We're, yes, in a, sir. we're in a little truck stop in Massachusetts. And uh, Richard was parked next to me and says, hey man, uh, my truck won't start. Do you know anything about, about starters or whatever? I yeah. said, well, let's mess with it. So we've been uh, messing with it for about an hour, checking fuses and relays It'd and stuff. Than that. Uh, not getting power over by, uh, we're having some power issues. So show them, show them the tools we'll use to get your truck started today. Two screwdrivers. And starter fluid. <laughs> and, and a little ether, because we, yeah. Cross it on the solenoid. Uh, uh, wow. Richard here learned how to truck, start his truck here across the solenoid so today. Adam is a lifesaver. <laughs> Follow there's, and subscribe. There, there's no, uh, <laughs> there's no uh, uh, shops around here. Yep. So, uh, yeah, what we did, tell them what, tell them what we did here. First, we started with testing all the fuses on the dashboard, under the hood. It's a D13 engine. So we tested all the fuses. Found, I believe those was the starter initial fuse, something like that. So we tested that. Then we went underneath. Tap on the starter several times, still clicking and clicking. Check the batteries. Pretty much everything that could cause some kind of short, electrical short, which we checked it. Uh, and then finally, we just uh, resorted to crossing the screwdrivers together on the solenoid. That fired it right up. Yep, so the yeah. solenoid's bad. And uh, we got it running, we're not going to shut it off. And if, if he does shut it off, he knows how to start it again. <laughs> yes, sir. So, uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, it pays to learn to fix stuff yourself. Yeah. What do you? What, what were they going to charge you to come out so we can even look at it? Well, last night, just to come give me a full start, it's like three seventy-five plus one hundred twenty dollars for each additional hour. So well over hundred. I mean, well over five hundred dollars. The guys up the road, again, just to come out, another three hundred something dollars. Easily five six hundred dollars. I could have spent just to for them to come out and to temp to temp, to um, tamper with it, fixing it, and that's not even parts. Lifesaver, I think. <laughs> Congratulations, Life man. Thanks, you. Yeah, so much. All right. So much. Everybody have a great day.